So the two things a community leader has is obviously an understanding of the particular domain, the set of uh, the knowledge that you, that's involved, the skills, the, the, the basic the area that community focuses on. So what we're looking for is somebody from that group of people who has an interest or is willing to get interact, interact involved. Perhaps they've been someone that when they were younger was involved uh, in tra teaching kids or teaching scouts or something that's had some sort of social involvement. Um, and often you have two or three people that can do mm -hmm. this. Um, and this is really also a particular issue in the early stages of community. It's getting communities going that's the challenge and getting, building up that small cadre of very active volunteers uh, in the middle. So this is what we're looking at. So this is awfully usually, usually someone who's been involved in this initiative within the organization might be helping. Um, there's certainly all sorts of people around there, you know, out in the more general community. There's a lot of people of my similar sort of background who've got general experience in helping communities um, get, you know, going. So there's all sorts of people you can call on, I think, that can help. Um, but the first place I would go looking for is people who've got that knowledge. Because again, the real key thing that your youths are looking for is to get access to those sort of people to share what is they know. And I think you'd find, you'd be surprised how effective community leader many people who haven't maybe done that sort of thing in the past will actually be.